Hello everyone, my name is Tom and today I'm going to show you how to fix the objective lens of a DMC FS30. I'm doing this for a friend who dropped his in sand. The objective lens became stuck and I had to open it up. But once I did, I was stuck with this and I had to put it back together. Now, that isn't as easy as it sounds. So how do we put it back together? Well, first of all, we align all these parts so we can later assemble it easily. Um, where we start out is with the biggest part that we took out right from the camera. We took it out like this. There's a small gear over here and we position it like this. Second biggest part, this one, has the teeth over here and these teeth fit in with this little gear here so these teeth that gear we position it like this <coughs> third part has three parts that fit in to this one one is slightly bigger than the other two and it fits in like this There we go. You position it like that again. Third of all, fourth, this piece. Oh. We have to look at this piece first. Also has three parts that fit into this one. One of those has a slight curve in it and that one has to be at the top right. So if we keep that like this, there's only one way in which it fits. Just turn it, turn it. There we go. And you put this piece like that with the curve top right. That piece goes there. Now finally we have the lens here. This one's easy. It says Boomix DC Vario, and well, that has to be on top, so we just position it like this. This part is completely symmetrical, so however you put it on, it's going to be fine. And finally, the most outer lens. Um, to position this one, we have to look at the rest of the mechanism here. Um, this fits in to this biggest part like this because here is the small part in which this uh, ribbon cable is going to fit once we close it up and there's only one way in which this part fits onto that one so just look at it oh, first try there we go so take this part and put it like this. <clears throat> there you go. We've aligned all parts and we are now ready to reassemble the lens. We're going to start out with this piece and we're going to insert the outer lens. It has to go through the bottom. It fits in many different ways so there's only one right way. That's why we've aligned it. Once it's in, you can turn, make it follow the, the rails that are inside, and just turn it as far as you can so it won't fall out. Now I've lost my alignment. Let's do that again. There we go. And this one. Okay. Let's do that again. Go 
going to hold on to the biggest part just turn the lens turn it all the way in okay now we put on oh, this outer part with the writing on it um, they're, they're going to have to fit like this you can see these rails here so we turn this one a bit like that and we slide it on there's only one way in which it fits and that's when it closes completely when it closes completely hold on to it don't let it spring back and put on this part doesn't matter how there we go still going to spring back just hold it put it into the bigger piece it's gonna click you can see this part you have to keep it right over there put it in this piece there we go and finally put it in this piece now you're going to want to make it fit so just push it a little turn it a little there we go so if we start turning this as the motor would do you we can see that the lens works when it's all the way out we have to go into we have to go into the lens and there's this the outer lens part the smallest one we have to turn it we have to turn it back and that was too far that's not the way it should be so I get to start over I'm gonna start over and I'm gonna get back to you Fuck. can be really frustrating to work with these lenses um, these lenses have not been built for repair um, I'm guessing that when one of them breaks you just throw it away and buy a new one God. It's only when you have a lot of patience like me. Well, I don't always have a lot of patience, but when you do have a lot of patience, you're willing to spend time to fix it yourself. Okay. Okay, <clears throat> let's give it another try. See that doesn't fit, it doesn't close completely. This one does. You can see it's still aligned, Lumix DC Vario is on top. There we go.